So we played another really light game that's basically tabletop twister. Right. So I was walking around enforcing, and when I walk around enforcing, you know, I tend to try to chat people up and see what games they're playing. And usually people playing a game that I know, you know, it's like I'll just sort of ignore them, or maybe if it's a game I really know, like TE, I'll be like, ah, T E. Yeah. But when I'm mostly looking for games where A, the people look like they're actually having fun and not just sitting there reading rules or doing boring stuff, right? And two, it's a game I've never seen before. So I saw some people walking around, and one dude had a card, like, in his ear, and another dude was holding the card in his nose, and this other gamer had, like, cards. They were, like, they were their hand, their, like, foot was up on the table. And yep. I'm like, whatever this is, I got to know what this is. And it did not disappoint. No, so it was in the it, tabletop library at PAX. It's a little tiny card game. comes in a little tin. It's called Yogi. It's called Yogi, as in yoga, as in Dalsim, right, from Street Fighter. It is a game where basically the cards tell you what to do. And it'll say, for example, you'll pick up a card and it'll say, make sure this card is always touching your right thumb. And it's like, all right, from then on, that card must always touch your right thumb at all times. It so must as never, you keep going around. If at any moment that card ceases to contact your right thumb, you immediately lose. I was doing real well in our first game, but I had won. I had to have a card touching my elbow. So I had my elbow down on this card. Oh, turn and turn. I kept getting all these cards and all these turns, and I kept this elbow on the table. And then at one point, I looked down, because I forgot the card was there. It had been a while. And I see this card on my elbow, and I'm like, what's that? And I lifted my elbow up to look at it, and I was eliminated. Yep. So basically, all you do is keep adding cards, right? And as you add more cards, you have to do all these things simultaneously. Simultaneously. And your body gets contorted. And the thing is, you even have to draw the next card without breaking any of the rules while you draw the next card. Now, the nice thing is it comes with these little trays where you can slide the card out just by putting friction on the top of it and pulling. Yes. But that did not help as much as you expect. It says if you are unable to draw the next card, you lose, right? You know, so uh, that's pretty much the whole game. It's Twister, but it's a little bit more accessible because you could, I guess, play it if you uh, only have arms and a torso. I don't. There wasn't wasn't too much leg action that I remember. It is also pretty inaccessible in that many of the if you have any dexterity problems whatsoever yes uh, this, they, like it's even, not super accessible but it's better than twister it needs a lot less space than twister it needs a lot less equipment than twister i hurt my neck a little bit because i had to hold it a does card in, an, in my ear and i was i had my neck down the entire yes. time it doesn't involve any sexual things like twister does you don't, yeah, you're not you don't, touching other players you don't have to touch other people Right, but it's and it's a lot actually more complex because it's not just like right foot blue. It's like it's actually more detailed than that. It's like ah, this must you know be touching this in such a way. Well, I guess what it does is sim- unlike say Jenga is a good example. And some of the cards aren't giving you like rules about touching the card. Some of them are just giving you general rules. Like, left hand must always be below right hand. Right. So now for the rest of the game, your left hand has to be closer to. Keep the- one eye closed. Cover. Never display your lower teeth. Yep. Oh, so the rest of the oh, game, no. the rest of the game is not good. That's really annoying. Yeah, and if at any moment you reveal someone sees your bottom teeth, they call you out, and you're supposed to play. You cannot play this game with uh, people who are jerks because the jerks will just win and make it a miserable experience. You need to play by the honor system and report yourself for violating the rules yep. because nobody playing this could possibly monitor all players equally. Uh, and catch them in the act of, of, like, if I reveal my bottom teeth for a second, I'm technically out, but if no one saw it, it's like, come on, bro. Right? Yeah. You know, you can't be doing that. So the game is good compared to, say, like, Jenga is the example I'm going to use because Jenga is a game where it's an dexterity game and you go until someone messes up and you play whatever, but the game has a lot of buildup until you get to the point to where skill matters. Mm-hmm. This game, and Twister actually has oh, the same only problem. Only round one. And Yogi is comfortable, and it's only slightly comfortable. Like, the game ends pretty quick. Real, well, I guess if people are really, really good yogis, you could go longer. But even then, the game fundamentally limits... I don't think you could get past seven or eight cards. I think it maybe some uh, super, super dexterous person. But even then... And t- a lot of it also depends on what cards you get. Because sometimes you get cards that go well with each other. They don't require, like, the same body parts to yep. interfere. And there was one. Or like I wear glasses, so I was sticking cards in my glasses to hold them next to my ear, to hold them on my eye, to hold them on my nose. Yep. Just filling my glasses with cards. Well, some people, you know, I had a card the first time. I think I won the game or came close. I don't remember. 
But you know, all my cards sort of didn't interfere with each other. But then the second time we played, like the third or fourth card was like foiled by like the first card I had. And it's like, well, I can't do both these cards at the same time. I lose. The so end. there is a skill component, but it's also a little pretty significantly random because it has the problem of all dexterity games where, where there's player elimination, where it goes around and generally whoever went first is at a disadvantage because they're drawing cards earlier. Right. So I might be eliminated on my fourth card and then the next person's eliminated on their fourth card. And now the only player left has only done three cards and does not need to attempt a fourth card. Yep. Because everyone else has already lost. Now, you could probably mitigate that by modding the game a little bit. Like, I could imagine yeah, such ideas as... Yeah, you say, all right, as, if everyone fails at a fourth card, then go back to three cards and try again. And or see. you max it out at six cards, and then you just you replace any one card with your new card. Something like that. So you, you could come up with something clever. Yeah. But... The game is not particularly deep. It's not particular like there's it's just fun enough and cheap enough to where I would recommend it as a party game. I would rec I would definitely recommend This is one of those games you're going to buy it. You're going to play it with your people until you get bored of it. And then you're going to bust right? it out occasionally. And then when there's new people you bust it out again and you go, oh my God, and you have a super blast of time. But then I would it, put this in my bag right next to Bananagrams and Spot It. Right, but then it runs out. Unlike Spot It, which can keep going, Yogi yeah. runs out. And it runs its course with some people after like maybe, you know, half hour, yeah. not even that. And then the other problem is there ain't, it's cheap. There's not a lot of cards in that box. You're going to, we, we all played it twice. We saw repeat cards. You're going to see all the cards and then it's boring. But so maybe try to make your own Yogi deck with more cards. To the game's credit, the cards were pretty consistent in their general level of difficulty. That is true. And they were more complex and more difficult than I would have expected or would have even thought to design into a similar game. Yes, if I had to sit there and actually think of Yogi cards, I would not think of ones as good as the ones in actual Yogi. Like, for exa the example we used of keep left hand above right hand, yep. elevation-wise. This never card is touching two hands. Yep. Yep. Two hands touching... This card covering one eye. Not just touching, covering. Right thumb always pointed down. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, man, I just realized, you know what you go crazy with? If you played this game, you have a rule, you can always trade a card with anyone at any time. Mm. But you have to maintain all the non-traded cards rules during the entirety of the trade. <laughs> you, this, this game is, it's like Twister. Just play with it. It's treat it more like a toy and a party game yeah. and run with it and I think it's pretty fun. Also, you know, when you're sitting around a table in a cramped pack fully clothed, it's not the easiest. I think if you played it in like an open area, like a room with lots of space. Nice and naked. And, well, naked or, you know, wearing more, Definitely naked. more comfortable and stretchy clothes. We got rid of the second. If we wanted the naked part, we should could play Twister. <laughs> 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 you're not touching anyone when you play Yogi. Man. <laughs> uh, you know, in more comfortable Wait, we need to right now flexible. jump on this trend and kickstart the erotic version of Yogi. Sure, but if you play more custom, you know, in more comfortable, flexible clothing in a more open space, then that would give people the advantage of being able At to get more cards. At what point is it cheating to have large numbers of bracelets and a bandana and a baseball cap? I don't know. Because I feel like I could just wear... I think a it's fair as long as everyone has equal access. Well, I'm mean, yet. Yeah, you, you, you might, I think you might want to make a mod. Where you, too, could have bought... The bracelet that I am wearing. I think what would be cool is you have a mod, and where before the game starts, this there's like one item per player, and like one. Oh, you do a draft. Yeah, one extra item, and everyone drafts one item, and the other items go away. So it's like I'll take the bandana, you take the bracelet, someone else takes the the glasses or whatever. It's not bad. Yeah. And what do you have? A knife. <laughs> <laughs> I have the yoga mat. <laughs> This has been Geek Nights with Rim and Scott. Special thanks to DJ Pretzel for the opening music.